Aujourd'hui, je vous propose de visiter une, une société pas comme les autres. Il s'agit de Dogster et de Cagster. Dogster, c'est le premier site communautaire pour les chiens. Alors, en effet, on avait des sites communautaires pour tous les types de, de, de catégories possibles et imaginables. Eh bien, Dogster est le premier site communautaire des chiens. Et il marche très fort. On a plus de 200 000 membres, plus d'un million de chiens enregistrés, des tas d'échanges sur le forum. Sur ce site communautaire, il y a tout. On a les profils, on a les amis, on a la famille, on a absolument tout ce que l'on peut imaginer pour son animal de compagnie préféré. Je vous propose de venir avec moi, derrière cette porte, découvrir un peu plus qui se cache derrière cette société et comment les gens travaillent. J'espère que vous aimerez ce que vous allez voir. En tout cas, je peux vous dire, c'est vraiment très spécial. Alors, à tout de suite, chez Docteur. Eh bien, voilà, il ne reste plus qu'à passer la porte. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. So, can you tell us your name and what are you doing here in Dogster? Um, I'm Ellen. I just started here as the creative director. Yeah. Uh, just like last week. Wow. Um, so, I am just sort of in charge of the user experience as far as visual design um, and product design and how the features work. And just helping to work on, to expand already the brand that's so embedded in Dogster and Catster, the, okay, the, the and personality and site. Do you have dog yourself? Are you a dog lover? Or? I'm not because I'm living in New York and in apartments where you can't have, can't have pets. So I'm in the process of moving out to California. So, oh, we'll that's right. so what is a typical day for you? Um, well, it's hard to say since I haven't been here long, but... Um, You know, there's just basically several projects going on at once and um, working with the engineers who are programming the back end, um, hooking that up with the front end visual design. So just working away and, and checking in with the engineers from time to time. And um, and you are working on Doxter and Caxter at the same time? Yes. Or just both of them? Yes, and both and together. And what is the biggest challenge you have to, to accomplish now? What's... Um, I think just helping to scale the personality of the site and the, across all of the new initiatives that we'll be taking on and, um, and really um, making sure that every little, every piece of text and every visual experience is cohesive um, and, we're, and having the, the sites branded together but also um, addressing the The individual audiences from each site because their needs are different and their desires are different but we still want to keep the, the sites as a family so you are listening a lot to the users and uh, I will be you... actually Randy who you'll meet next yeah. is a community manager she's really in touch with the users and so um, she's sort of our touchstone for for the users and what they're what they're asking for okay so. that's great thank you very much thank so you. I you continue working <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank you very much So, as you can see, there are really dogs at dog stores, right? <laughs> you're not like, whoa, you're nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, I'm not going to play with you out today. <laughs> oh, but you, how many dogs do you have here? Um, on a typical day, I'd say two. Two? Um, up to four. And you don't have any cats, right? No cats. I mean, no. there are cats in the family, but never in the office. Yeah, you, you, you don't want to see what could happen, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that might be a little crazy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I would say two to four dogs a day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, Ripley likes that's... the reflections. So, is he like a, a big star on Dogster, or he has his... Ripley? His, yeah. Ripley is one of the first dogs on the site, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. One of the early, early... Before the site was launched, Ripley's... Owner found out about it and got Ripley on the So he has all his friends on the, on the website yes. and he has a fan. <laughs> Absolutely, big fan club. Oh, that's yeah, great. That's great. What do you see? Wow, he's very interested by the She camera. Loves the reflections. Yeah. Ripley, <laughs> <laughs> look right into the camera. Yeah, that's yeah. A You're a big star, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she likes it. <laughs> And, uh, okay, Randy is not here, and who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Greg Olson, and I manage the systems for yeah. Dogster and Catster. We uh, have about 17 servers right now and growing daily. 17 servers, 17 wow. 
How, how many requests is, does that mean every day? Um, we do an average about 600 page views a day. Oh, okay. Hopefully hoping to double that in the, as soon as we can, get more traffic. So you are here from the beginning. We can say you're the one who, who built uh, it? Or? No, I've, I've been here for seven months now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not the beginning. The beginning goes back to 2004 when it was just Ted, and, mm. uh, and then he brought in John and Stephen. So. I see. And, and what's the big change for you? What is the, the big problem you have to, to struggle every day? Um, I have been managing systems for a while, but databases aren't my strong point, so learning, the, learning database administration is the, is the toughest one, and I'm actually working on a new database server right now. Mm. Seven and seven, that's a, that's a lot of people. How, how many visits does Doctor get? You have an idea? How many visits? Well, about 600,000 a day. Page views. Well, that's not visits, that's page views. I suppose page we get view. about. I don't have the number yeah, off. That must be a lot. Sure. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's tough, tough to break down. So, uh, if I notice, uh, Doxter is about 200,000 users, right? 200, there's like 250,000 humans, and I think almost 300,000 pets. 300,000 pets? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's a good yeah. number, yeah. 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 And, and uh, you have, you have, you are, are you a dog lover? Are you a cat lover? I have cats. I have, you have well, cats? I have cat, yeah. I have, my cat's been on Caster since uh, February of, of 2005. Wow. So, do, yeah. do you enjoy it? Do you like to, to be on Caster? Yeah, my, he's, uh, he, he's, <laughs> he loves it. So, <laughs> how is it to, to, to just come back home and when your friends ask you, what are you doing for a living? And say, okay, I, I work for the, for the first dog community online and... I like it. It's it's you know my friends hear me talk about my cat enough you know and and and, and to now talk that I work at Catster and Doxer, it's great. I have no problem telling them it's it's a great community. It's a good group of people to work with. So I worked at a larger company before this, and uh, it's definitely nice to come to a small group of people who are really passionate about what they do. How is it going to work here? I see you have a big open oh, it's, space. And it's great. Yeah, you know, it's great. Everybody's pretty friendly. Lots of to put on our headphones and just crank away though, and uh, yeah, the times we're having a good time. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck with your work. You, look like you're, you have a lot of keyboards and yeah. things going on, looks like. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, your desk is not messy. Don't, uh, too late, I show it. It is messy. Sorry, it's no, very it's messy. <laughs> so, you're Randy, right? I am Randy. So, you take care of the community. I am the community manager. Um, oh. So it's a little bit difficult to describe, but basically my job is um, overseeing the community. I know that's a bit of a circular definition, but making sure that the users are um, satisfied, behaving, um, following the rules, um, dealing with any complaints that we get, which you might not think that we get complaints in a dog and cat community, but we do mm. every day. What kind of complaint? What is Kind well, of funny I guess um, you get, a, a perfect example of the type of thing that we deal with is, um, I guess the easiest way to describe it is that people are very passionate about their pets and get very emotional and emotionally involved in um, issues regarding their pets. So a lot of a lot of it comes from our forums where people talk about um, everything from what they feed their dog and whether purebred dogs are better than mutts and which one which one is healthier, which one is going to live longer, should you spay or neuter your dog, um, are choke chains inhumane. So we have such a cultural variety because we're in, I think, something like 27 countries. Um, it, a perfect example, I would say, is, you know, maybe in Texas it's normal to get a dog and keep them in the backyard and have them live in a dog house. And never come in the house and you have that in France for example okay mm. so and then in San Francisco your dog goes to work with you or if they don't go to work with you they go to doggy daycare um, or they have a dog walker that takes them out every day and they live in the house and they you know you, you feed them organic food and use organic products on them you know so depending where the people are they have very different points of view and um, very different take on all sorts of different issues. So we deal with helping them resolve that and making sure that everybody's following the guidelines of our community and keeping it family friendly. And um, so it's a lot of, there's a lot of emotion out there. I heard there's a lot of rules in Dogstore actually. You mm -hmm. have a big etiquette about what people, sh how people should behave and... We don't like to call them rules, we call them guidelines. But guidelines. yes, okay, we, sorry. Um, <laughs> we, 
the reason we call them guidelines is because they can change at any any given second. But yes, they're um, the site. We like to keep the site family friendly. We tell people please don't say or post anything that you don't think would be appropriate for a seven year old. And people don't always pay attention to that. And we have to you know make sure that um, we're keeping it appropriate for a you know global. How many contact uh, feedback you receive every day? How many questions you you get from the from the users? Um, well, I, I don't know if I could quantify it because we do have another person who works off-site who is the first point of contact. Like on every page, there's a link that says Contact Dogster. Um, and then there's a form that you can fill out to say if you're contacting with a question or an issue um, or a suggestion or if it's about business. And he gets all of those emails. And then they get filtered to me if it's something that I have to assist him with. Some of them he answers right back. I have people who email me directly now that they know me. So um, it's pretty much what I do all day, so a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks a huge job because and, you have a lot of users. Yes, and for Dogster and for Catster, but um, Catster is a community that's a little better at self-maintaining. There's not as much drama on Catster. Oh, so that's either. interesting. So you mean the, it's two different kind of users and they have yes. definitely opposite behavior? Um, I don't know if it's opposite, but definitely different. Definitely different. The dog community is, um, not to say that the cat community is not passionate, but the dog community, um, there's more butting heads and stronger opinions. And the cat community, they, they don't really talk about the same kind of issues as the dog community. They're kind of there just more to hang out and have fun. Oh, that's so. nice to know. Mm -hmm. And do you have any funny story you, you ever see or uh, very funny behavior? What is something shocked you in, in the, the feedback or something I've seen on BBS? Um, God, we see all sorts of things. People have uh, virtual birthday parties for their dogs where they'll go into the forums and they'll say, hey, everybody come online at 8 p.m. We're going to have a party. Wow. And they kind of, they play these little like fantasy games where they make believe they're having a party and if it's on Dogster they'll say they're having Dogaritas instead of Margaritas. If it's on Catster they call them, you know, um, Meowaritas or whatever and they have their little language and people, people post, it's, what's funny is sometimes to read posts that people make because they speak from the perspective of their, their pet. Wow. So they'll say, you know, my mommy came home today and she was very upset. She said she's going through something called a breakup, and I don't really know what that means. You know, things like that. So people, they they emote and they... They put everything on their animals and they just, so they get a positive, so to speak, about themselves. And uh, so it's a kind of therapy, yeah, little yeah, bit, I right? Yeah, so, a little bit, yeah. And, uh, oh, that's yeah, great. So definitely. have you ever imagined that this would turn this way? Or? It was already happening this way before I started working here, so... Um, You know, I came in and I haven't known anything different, but, you know, Ted and John and Stephen, they were dealing with this from the beginning, and I, I think they've seen it evolve. I've been here about five months, so. Wow, that's yeah. great. So, last question. Are you a dog lover, too? Ripley. Come oh, here. so Ripley is... Come here. Come here, baby. <laughs> I am not just a dog lover. I'm a dog mom. Oh. Right? Come here. Can you come say hi? Come here. Say hi. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Good girl. Wow. Come here. This is Ripley. Hello, Ripley. Yeah. Ripley's going to be five years old next week. Wow. And she's my dog. I had and a dog like was, that. <laughs> and she was, um, ironically, on Dogster before Dogster was even public. Oh. She was on Dogster in November of 2003, and the site went public in January of 2004, and we still haven't figured out... A friend of a friend, I believe, knew Ted or one of these guys and found out about it. So Ripley was one of the first dogs on Dogster. Wow, and, that's And great. then I got the job here. So now she... Ripley, come here. Come, come on. Why don't you go get your ball? Get your ball. Good girl. Bring it over here. Come on. No? Here's something outside. So, so I that is nice one. to come with your dog yes, at work, right? It's this great. is very convenient. It's great. She loves it here and she gets to hang out with all of us all wow. day. And does this happen a lot in San Francisco that people can come with a pet at the office? I think it does. I think more than other places. Um, it depends, you know, on the environment and the kind of company. Oh, it's hard to imagine that in France or in Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're very, we're very lucky. So. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you welcome. for your time. So as you can see, oh, some. Empty desks, people are, are working a lot, and wow, we have a 
we have a very big space of work. And here, big things are happening, it looks like. Yeah, big surprises. Maybe I should not show any. <laughs> These are, our friends, these are our friends from ACS who are uh, helping us optimize oh. our site for search engines. That's great. Uh, Ted, would you like to introduce yourself? For those <laughs> who still don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm Ted Reingold. I'm the founder and CEO of Dogster. That's great. Thanks just, for coming by. Thank you to receive me. I just have one question because I know you're very busy. You, are you a dog lover? Of course. Look at this. Come here, Ripley. Come here, Ripper. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I mean... Your blood pressure just goes down when a dog walks in the room and everyone gets to smile. So it was just such a no-brainer to make a site where everyone could share their best photos. Wow, that's stories. right. What is the next project? What is the future for Doxer and Caster? More functions? More, more things coming? We've got the world's coolest dog and cat show coming up. Wow. That's going to be great. Yeah. Everyone can upload their photos and whoever's got the best tongue or the best jumper or craziest smile is I heard is about win. your new video theaters. <laughs> how, how is the success of that? Yeah. Everybody is very uh, exciting to, to post videos. and The videos the video has been a lot of fun. And uh, once we get enough of them, we're going to make an area where everyone can tag, rate, and review videos. Mm, so right. the best ones are going to come to the top. But it's just, it's just video madness already. It's probably too small for you to see. But uh, yeah. it's, um, the members really are having a ton of fun already. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you, Ted. I'll let you... Work. All right, thank and, you. And uh, see you later. Thank you for listening me. Uh -huh. That's great. My pleasure. <laughs> so, another conference room with a lot of people working on crazy technology yeah. for dogs. <laughs> well, Big dog. So, you guys, maybe can you introduce, you, introduce yourself just uh, really... Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm John Vars. I'm uh, a co-founder of Dogster and uh, I lead the uh, product development team right now. Oh, that's great. So, it looks everyone. like you're working on... a. Some really serious stuff here. Yeah, yeah. real serious. Very serious. <laughs> and uh, you, who are you? I'm Nixon. Yeah? Software right. We're talking about uh, our latest video project today. So, how is it going, this new video features you have on Dogster? Uh, is it, do you have a lot of posting every day? Uh, how are doing your servers? Uh? Well, we just sort of launched it last week for all users. About 1,200 videos wow. uploaded. It's that's great. Pretty quickly. That's yeah. right. That's a huge success. It looks like. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And you guys? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, that's, oh, I can't see you anymore. <laughs> there you go. Turn on the light. Uh, oh yeah. Paul Thrasher. Uh, we're just in here for code review. I'm also a software engineer. So you are coding guys, right? You you're in the yeah. real serious yeah. stuff. With a lot of things that nobody can understand on the screen. But yeah, so sure. you guys, you, you decrypt all that. That's great. Thank you very much. So I let you guys work on secret weapons for dog stars and, and cool right. new theaters. And, uh, and uh, we talk more about you in the interview coming. Thank you. All right. Thank See you, you then. Bye.